Hello everybody, sorry about that, not sure what happened to Tristan. Oh, we just got a very special bird there, and I, it's a kukul of some sort, and I think it's a white-browed kukul. If I'm not mistaken, that is indeed what it is, a white-browed kukul. Might be a new bird for many of you, if you are keeping a bird list. We were looking in the depths of that bush there to see if we couldn't find the leopard. But we found a white-browed cuckoo instead, which has now obviously disappeared. So we'll keep looking around here. We haven't got very far from where we were. The tree's just behind us there. So let's drive around here uh, together and see if we can't spot what is going on. We're not going to spend too much time here because I think that if this leopard doesn't want to show itself, it won't. You know how easy they find it to hide if they wish to. And so if this chap's feeling a bit shy, or and it might not be a chap, it might be a, a lady. If she's feeling a little shy, well, then we won't see her. We might see a spot or two in amongst the bushes. I've only seen one leopard up in a tree. This is the second wildebeest carcass I've seen strung from a tree, but this one is fresh. And Karen, you say that is a new bird for you. I'm very pleased that we've managed to find you a new bird, the white-browed cuckoo. Uh, I would imagine that if she is around here, or he, can be around about inside these bushes here but could so easily hide from us. Well, John, you said your leopards and the Mara tend to hang out near the river. Well, the river, if Viam pans down there, is probably, what, about a kilometre and a half away, about a mile, at least, actually, as the vulture flies. So, not necessarily. I imagine you'll find that closer to the river and closer to the mountains, their territories will be that much smaller. And in these sorts of areas, when the wildebeest aren't around, of course, food not very plentiful, I think you'll find that the territories will be that much bigger. But I'm not holding out a great deal of hope right now that we're going to find this chap. I say chap because I think that that wildebeest is possibly a little bit big for a female. All righty, let's go across, I haven't said this before, back to South Africa to Tara, who is at the hyena den.